you straight. <laughs> <laughs> you watch way too. What's good, DLC? How you doing, family? Man, we back again with another video. Another animated video, bruh. So, I thought with these animated videos, bro, on a real, real tip, bruh. They be good, bro. Look at the activity on my phone. You'll, you'll notice a trend. A lack of hoes and an abundance of food delivery apps. DoorDash, Uber Eats, Instacart, Postmates. Don't let the gym videos fool you. This barbell ain't the only thing with two plates on it. Like, the only hub in my search history is Grubhub. No cap, I put that on my browser's account. I say this to emphasize how avid of a user of these delivery apps I am. The only person I could think of that uses these apps more than me is my boy Cheerio. But he doesn't use them for the reason that you think. He doesn't order food. He delivers it. I know this because the last animation I uploaded was made almost entirely in his car off of my laptop because I decided to ride shotgun with him while he worked to see what it'd be like to be a door dasher. That's fire. Damn. And it was an experience. This is I'll, his I'll curve. <laughs> what I like about these uh, animated videos is like, <clears throat> yeah, think about it. All right, so reaction videos. I have to sit here. I have to look through basically all of YouTube to find what video I want to react to, right? Then I also have to sit here, edit it, kind of make it entertaining for y'all, and then also, boom, uh, what's the name? Edit it. He strictly has to edit everything. He's making his own video. He's editing all of it on his own. Like, that's crazy to me. And honestly, I'm surprised I'm even alive to animate this because not only does Cheerio drive mad reckless, he also drives sticks. So when he's not cutting people off and hitting U-turns at 30 miles per hour, he's switching gears hard as hell. Like bro's car jerks more than me on a Saturday night. And that's saying something. Hey, hey, I practice hey, his dance hey, all the time. Hey. Like this is the only jerk and I've been doing it for months. I put that on my browser's and Cheerio will be with him, bro. The only thing that could stop this nigga is a blue shell. Like calm down, Dom Toretto. You're gonna be Paul walking to the <laughs> gates of heaven back. if you keep this. Up. I'm really not trying to make this whole nah, video about his driving, but he literally turned his car off at 45 miles per hour on a hill and turned it back on when he had to steer at the bottom just to save gas. I mean, I understand because with these gas prices, I bet he'd rather be delivering kilos than food, but golly was risking my life worth the 35 cent? Yes. Despite Cheerio yes. driving like he has five stars on GCA, he actually has the same rating on DoorDash. He gets great reviews and he 100% does not deserve these ratings. My literal <laughs> first impression of dashing with them went like this. We pull up to this Jack in the Box to pick up an order. We stop at the box. window, he grabs like five bags of food and puts it in the back. I'm thinking we're gonna drive off after this, but then I hear, Hey, yo, yo, put, put this on your lap for me, bro. I look up and he's handing me like four more bags of food. That's not bags they gonna place this order i take the headphones <laughs> off and ask him why he picked up so much food and he tells me he does uber eats and doordash and accepted for orders not realizing how much food each person got but he didn't seem too worried that was until he confirmed the pickups and got the locations for the deliveries come to find out both the uber eats and the doordash deliveries were on opposite sides of town which is a problem because you get in trouble if you don't make deliveries in a certain amount of time and it would be literally impossible to drive to one side of town and back to the other other in 30 minutes but you know that obviously doesn't stop cheerio from trying so two spin outs three risky lane changes 110 spin miles an hour and 15 crazy. minutes later we pull what up to the fuck? first delivery and he drops off the food and we're good but with 15 minutes left on the clock and a 20 minute ride ahead of us not including traffic it was not looking good for us but you know that didn't stop cheerio <laughs> from trying so three ran red lights four close calls with cops and one spilled doordash order and we make our way onto the oh my god the turbulence of the car tips over this one large cup of water and i am just watching as this one guy's food gets drenched and soggy but what cheerio says next is what makes me realize this dude does not deserve the rating because he with the most desperate of tones says hey yo 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 please be quick put the food in the bag i'll tie it like dog is delivering a baptized meal really worth the seven dollar fare yes wow <laughs> This is actually happening. This dude just got water all over his order. And instead of canceling it, he tells me to put it in a- Yo, yo, stop the mall like nigga. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yo, yeah, that was stop. crazy. This is actually happening. This dude just got water all over his order. And instead of canceling it, he tells me to put it in a- Yo, yo, stop the mom, nigga. back to school. You know how to get this bread? <laughs> so with my- <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. Bare hands, I'm grabbing soggy fries, reassembling the burger, Cheerios speeding, the paper bag is reading Psalms 23. It's straight pandemonium in this whip right now but finally i get everything tied up and right as we're about to exit the highway cheerio gets a notification from doordash turns out the guy actually cancels his order and now that i think about it if i ordered something on doordash and saw my driver go in the literal opposite direction stop and then head back my way i canceled too so luckily we never delivered the food but the fact that we were about to drop this off at someone's door is ridiculous luckily for us and not the other guy it freed up some time for us to make the last delivery and right as the time was about to end as well so like it was mad clutch we pull up and a rush cheerio parks his car and books it to the destination unbeknownst to me parked in the middle of the street parked in the middle of the street and the only okay. reason i realized this is because i'm blinded by the sight of high beams frantically flashing in front of me in a panic i get out and get into the driver's seat but i forgot this nigga drives stick Dick. but i can't just let this dude see me get into the front seat just to not move the whip i go to step on the brake but i see three pedals i go to grab the gear and i don't see an r anywhere who, who drives like this i am sweating in this seat and then this guy starts honking his horn something needs to be done i gotta just move the gear step on any of these three pedals or all three of them at the same time and just hope that the car goes backwards i genuinely see no other way out of this okay so i'm gonna teach y'all something T professor professor d-lo is in the building when you drive stick, right? If you don't want to, you know, press the gas, or so put your foot in the clutch, put your foot on the clutch. It's the um, gas brake clutch. It's the pedal on your left side, all the way on the left. You press it down, and you put it in neutral. Neutral is when you can just move it back and forth like that. Pause. When you can move it back and forth like that, and it t ease your foot off the brake and off the clutch at the same time so you want to kind of like more you want clutch all right so when you're easing your foot off that clutch the car is going to shake you don't feel it shaking then you want to ease your foot off the brake but don't take it all the way off because then the car will stall so just ease it up and then you'll start rolling back rolling back rolling back once you start rolling back that's when you start steering into the parking space or whatever hey just put y'all on game so I build up the courage to move the gear. I grab it, but thankfully Cheerio makes it back in time. And his timing could not have been better because I was dead two seconds away from crashing his car or messing up the engine. Either way, it would have been a quiet ride home. <laughs> well, not quiet because his engine would have been beatboxing, but you'll get the, the point. Fuck, we do man. all the orders and we go home. I'm genuinely surprised he never got a complaint because stuff like this happened literally almost every time I went out with this dude. But it wasn't always his fault though. If it wasn't Cheerio making dumb decisions, it's the restaurants, bro. I remember this one time Cheerio's DoorDash card didn't work for an order and the guy asked him if he could pay for it. Like, you asking me for bread? <laughs> these niggas when i press you don't shift because i'm in control when i see niggas i'm gonna really empty out my clipboard when i hop out of control b nigga let me know but doordash gave me your addy i'm at your estate now no m m but the driver's just eight miles mm. chopping your morale less like your name miles mm. kick down the door you ain't come out i guess you straight mm. watch way too watch way too Boy, they had to go that hard, boy. Nah, he had to go that hard, my boy. That, that, that was much battle rap bro but yeah after seeing what Cheerio Jeez. has to go through I definitely will be tipping my delivery drivers a lot more they deal with some PS for sure but the worst has to be getting an order driving over to the place just for it to be closed they're closed just, that's fuck, that's just fuck. like I said <laughs> <laughs> oh, no there's no way you just did that <laughs> It's been a brick, I had to let these niggas 
know I can spit, hop in the whip, I take her on a cruise and rock. This okay? You better duck, I keep in clutches like I'm driving a stick. Ain't no Tourette's on my wrist because my watch it don't tick. Stick to spinning, you niggas can't rap. The only time he fires when you get in the pack, I keep shit blunt. I am not the one for the cat. My gun be giving out shots, you getting hit from the back. Only reason why I feel like this wouldn't be a good song, cause he, the way he rapping, he rapping hard, like he, mm, in the, mm, he need a beat that go, mm, he got a beat that's like, mm, you feel me? He need a beat that go. Mm. These niggas know I won't war, my hooters answer the call Chop and hit you like you see even cigar Don't block your face, no. ain't nobody safe yeah. He really be thinking he tightened up So I'ma take a blade to his nape Oh, did y'all hear that? Ain't nobody safe yeah. He really be thinking he tightened up So I'ma take a blade to his nape oh. uh, I'm dead ass, she let me beat the box like FedEx My flow is sharp, if you're not careful I'ma slash you like a red Ooh. egg I chase the bag of cat head Don't put me in your man chance Cause when I hit the scene You niggas ghost like Corbin can't chance Said this once, I'll say it again If I can't be a man, then I won't be a friend you trying to crawl up off my energy and your plans getting soiled You can't put me in a box like aluminum foil Get it? Cause like microwaves and aluminum foil <sighs> For sure You look, you gonna steal it God damn, man He's rough for it? Okay Just gave him a little bit of free promo Alright y'all, that's the end of the video, man If y'all like the video, go ahead and hit that like button Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell And make sure you share this with the people you know and you don't know Cause they gonna like this shit for the show, man I'm telling you Y'all have y'all a good one, bro I'll see y'all in the next one Peace